<clears throat> and we're joined now by Sam McCullum, the former great receiver out of Flathead High School in Kalispell, Montana, Montana State University, and the National Football League with both the Minnesota Vikings and the Seattle Seahawks. And Sam, first of all, congratulations on induction into the uh, Montana NFL Football Hall of Fame. Great honor. Thank you very much. It is a great honor to be inducted. And like I said, it's been 40 years since I left school, and it's kind of, you think they forgot you sometime, but they really don't. And it's, it was amazing to be asked to be here. And I saw the group of guys, and it's pretty incredible. So, well, I'm, you know, I, I looked at, you know, some of your records when you were a receiver at Montana State University for Tom Perrick and Sonny Holland, and 16 touchdown catches in your career in a time where nobody threw the football. How did you get the ball that many times? <laughs> well, I. I I think Dennis Erickson. Dennis was a passing quarterback when he was here, and he had a receiver named Ron Bain that was pretty incredible. And Dennis kind of brought that to the table. But also, you got to look back at our, our quarterback, a guy named Clifton Zuni McLean, was a great quarterback for me. And, and him and I talked a great deal, but we had the right chemistry, and I think they let us throw the ball a great deal. Up until he graduated, then things changed. But uh, Dennis started, and I think Clifton, Clifton McLean was kind of the guy that did it for me. So. Well, after being a, an All-Big Sky honoree for a number of years, you went to the National Football League and, and first to the Minnesota Vikings, uh, drafted by the Vikings, and you had a tremendous career for them and also played for the Seattle Seahawks. Tell me a little bit about your, your career in the National Football League. Well, obviously being drafted in the ninth round out of Montana State, those, those years they had 18 rounds. So the ninth round guys, between 9 and 18 was kind of a – I uh, said so the poke in the dark. They didn't expect you to make it. And so it was. I was one of those guys who went to camp, and they wasn't sure what they are going to get from me because back in those days, they didn't have a lot of film. So I was kind of fortunate to have an opportunity to show my wares. And I don't think if the strike of 1970, 1974 had happened, I probably wouldn't have had a chance to play because the Vikings had gone to the Super Bowl the year before and lost to Miami. So was, their team was coming back intact. But I got a chance to play because of the strike in preseason, and it carried over. And then I ended up making the team as a kick returner. And then it went from there, the fact that I was able to pick the game up because the game is very complex, and I was able to learn the game. I think that impressed the coaches, and many times they would tell me, you're smarter than most guys who play this game, so really stay, stay that way and understand, and understand what it takes to be successful because you can be smart, but if you don't be disciplined enough to know to stay in shape and stay out of trouble and show up meetings on time and practice on time and come ready to play, you're not going to last. And so they really emphasized that in me. And I think going to Seattle was a great opportunity because as an expansion team, you don't know what they're going to fall into because everybody's up in the air. But I was fortunate enough that the head coach of the expansion team was a guy named Jack Patera, who was also the defensive line coach at the Vikings for two years. So he knew me, and he shared with me many times that we want to take that Viking culture to the Seahawks. We want you to help there and show the guys about what it's all about because Bud Grant believed in giving guys a lot of rope. He says, depends what you do with that rope, depends on how long you play. So he gave guys a lot of space. And, and Patera wanted the same thing, but he wasn't sure how to do it himself. So by bringing veterans in, he took quite a few veterans with him from Minnesota to Seattle, and we kind of took that culture there. So, But it was hard to start with because you get there, and there's no team unity. Everybody there is an individual. Everybody wants to make their name because this is their new chance because most of them left other teams. And so it was cutthroat. It was a really cutthroat environment. No one played as a team. But as time went on, we factored through, what well, filtered through probably 360 players that first year to find a roster of only 47 players. So it's pretty incredible. But it was something that once we got through that, we developed a good chemistry with a good core group of guys, and we kind of really stayed together. And that really helped the team build, and we became successful after that. Ten years in the National Football League. I think the average is maybe 2.3 years if somebody's lucky enough to make it. Yeah. How did you do it? And then, uh, besides going to the Seahawks, then you came back to the Vikings. But yeah. how did you last ten years in the National Football League? Well, the, the, the life expectancy when I was started the game was 3.2 years. Now it's at 3.6 years. So you think about it, in, in, since I left the game, which has been a long time, it's only creeped up a percentage point. So guys don't last long. It's really incredible. And how did I make it? I think part of it was the fact is that I really understood the game. And I was smart enough to be able to know positions and know the defense because there's a lot more guys, a lot more talent than I had. But I was able to anticipate what the defense was doing, what they're going to be doing to me, how to beat that, at the same time help other guys. And I think they saw that because, yeah, was I in shape? Yes. Was I a good talent? Did I have great hands? Yes. But at the same time, it was really important that I really understood the game and I taught that to other guys. I think that's what kept me playing. Well, it's an honor to talk with you today, Sam. Congratulations on your induction into the Montana NFL Hall of Fame. And uh, 
we're just happy to have you back in the state of Montana. Great. Thank you very much. It's an honor to be here. It's an honor to be inducted. Thank you very much for being a part. Sam McCollum. Good job. Okay. I could, could have talked all night. I just love to listen to you. But... Way to go.